The Visitor Aloha Society of Hawaii is helping the family of an international visitor who died while snorkeling at Shark's Cove on Friday. It is the fourth death in as many weeks on Oahu's North Shore. Nikki Schenfeld spoke to a visitor who survived a rip current earlier this month and shares his advice for others. On November 7th, 39-year-old Matt Jacobus was swimming off Kiahuna Beach on Kauai's South Shore. The Wisconsin visitor was in town for his brother's wedding and had been swimming around this area several times. The water was seemed to be relatively calm. There weren't like really big waves or anything. It was just seemed to be a very calm day. He was snorkeling for less than 10 minutes when he noticed the ocean floor was getting farther away. The depth seemed to have dropped to around 20 to 25 feet, um, which I thought was kind of odd because uh, I thought I was still very close to the beach. He admits he did everything wrong at first. He gasped, inhaled water, started panicking, and then tried to fight the rip, but he was only moving further away. I thought about waving my hands, but I saw on the beach, I didn't see a lifeguard stand and the people were starting to look small at this point. The nearest tower is one beach over at Poipu. Luckily, I'm uh, a triathlete and I'm in really good shape. And so I picked a line uh, parallel to the east with just a slight angle towards the beach and I started swimming as hard as I, I could. He said it took about one minute to get out of the rip and another minute to get to shore. He wanted to share his experience to help raise awareness to others who can be deceived by Hawaii's clear waters. I didn't think that there was really any risk um, involved. <laughs> you could be an experienced swimmer and you can be in great shape and it might not be enough. Um, that's how seriously people need to take this. He thinks all snorkelers should be required to wear fins in Hawaii and all airlines should have a safety video about ocean dangers. Called off its search for an Arizona man who went missing off Anini Beach on Kauai's North Shore. The county says the 59 year old was snorkeling with others to shore. Anini is also a non-guarded beach. Since January 1st, there have been nine visitor drownings on Kauai. I think if even just one person sees this and it saves their life, it's worth it. All of Oahu's North Shore drownings in the last month were at popular but unguarded beaches, and all were visitors. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.